Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to your Virgo love reading. This video and reading is for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Gosh, you know, the Emperor kept showing up all the time. Now I feel like the Page of Pentacles is always showing up here. And the Hangman. Okay. And the Eight of Swords. Past position, the present. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Six of Swords. Let's see. And the sun, beautiful. Okay. Future, we have justice. Knight of Wands. And the high priestess. All right, let's take a look at the past energy. I'm going to get a couple of romance angels messages. Okay. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, Virgo. And this person, lots of passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And I'm going to pull a couple of more here. And then we'll move on with this. Okay. So the past position with your person. Okay. Page of Pentacles. I feel like I'm repeating myself with this page. But again, it's all about um, new job, money, money news, a raise, Financial decisions, concepts. I feel like there was a lot of com uh, conversation about that with this person. But I do feel they were very passionate about you in the past. Um, it's just they had to wait. You guys had to wait. The hangman is here. This person had to wait. Maybe they made you wait. Um, they had a lot of insecurities. Okay. That eight of swords. They just weren't ready. Self-imposed restrictions. Isolation and imprisonment. This person... Um, the mental thoughts, the way they think, uh, negative thinking, um, feeling like, oh, it may not work out and we just got to wait and see, wait and see, wait and see, or just kind of like slowing things down or just not really communicating with, with you about things or just kind of like disappearing a lot or taking breaks or uh, not really initiating. Um, but I feel like the bulk of the conversation was a lot about, you know, some maybe an idea or some ideas or something they were thinking about doing or wanting to do. Oh, here's the emperor. <laughs> so for some of you, that was definitely an Aries. Okay. But this person trying to like, maybe they were working on ways to get themselves into that emperor position where they're respected. They're in like a head, like a leadership you know, they were in this, they were in strategic planning mode. Okay. Um, you know, trying maybe ideas about becoming a father or a parent. Okay. Um, so that communication I feel like was coming about, right. And they were talking either to themselves or to you about that, but there was a lot of like, have to wait and see something here. Have to wait and see. Okay. The eight of cups. Yeah. So, it was more like everything was put on hold, temporary separating, not really moving things forward, okay? Um, because the Eight of Cups is like withdrawal. They were withdrawing. There was an energy of being stuck. Um, there was a feeling of like, okay, well, waiting, maybe a sense of abandonment somewhere within this person, or they abandoned you in the past. Um, or it felt like they were abandoning you, but they were really, they were still there. Um, but they were separating from you because they had like some other th things that they felt like they needed to take care of. So they weren't progressing anything. There's no energy here of progression. It's just the page, which is just movement of the mouth and just communicating or just talking about pentacle energy, which is like the things in the physical world, earthly things, you know, material things. Um, or plans and ideas to make things tangible things or things to make happen. So let's see this Eight of Swords here. Okay, the moon, yeah. So many unknowns, so many unseen things. The moon, they just, this person, 
just really didn't know how they felt. They let their head speak over their heart. Even though they feel or they felt in the past that they had a very, you know, there was a very strong, connected, passionate exchange between the two of you. And they did feel that. Um, and they do have a lot of passion. But this person is kind of like, well, anything worth waiting for is, you know, will be worth it. So their idea is like to wait and delay, wait and delay and to see how things go or just to, you know, not be sure. Now the present energy is, wow, um, <laughs> they're kind of in this thing like, okay, well, if Virgo wants to come to me, that's great. Or if I have to go to Virgo, that's great. Either one is a positive thing for them which is very strange. Um, I do feel though that hmm, they would rather wait for you to come towards them. But if you can't, then they'll make that trip towards you. Or if you, you're, they, I just feel like they're waiting for you to come see them. And then when you come, then they're gonna like travel somewhere with you or take you somewhere or, you know, Let's see, so we have religious factors here and a pay attention to the red flags. That was yesterday, okay. <laughs> so let's get a couple of cards, the three of wands here, okay. Three of pentacles, two of swords. And the hermit with the sun okay so i forgot to say we have double pisces here we have aries we have leo we have virgo maybe it's cancer libra so this person in the present right now is it's, it's a lot of a lot of conflict very conflicted they're, they're still kind of conflicted I do feel like um, they're very focused on their money very much and work and career and school and but the three of pentacles can be marriage like if you were to come to them um, they're they have like I'm just picking up like this trouble coming towards you they would but there's trouble because they kind of feel like they would block that first rather than initiate and, and move towards you, they would rather you do it for them. You would come to them, okay? Um, and they may say that it can't come towards you because they have to work or they have other responsibilities or maybe they have a child that's in school, you know, or um, they are like, or to relocate, they can't do that because, um, you know, they're in the middle of study or they got a lot of work to do or something. Um <clears throat> so they would rather you come to them but they don't really like they this person has kind of like high and low moods you know sometimes they are like very up and uppity and positive and joyful and other times they go into this dark reflective place and reflect too much okay um so I kind of feel like there's some red flags here with this person that they're seeing. There's a fear. They're looking. That's what it is. This person's actually, like if you initiated to go towards them, they would be happy about that. But they're not going to initiate to come towards you, okay? Whether that's just communication or physical, in the physical world, Um this person has a tendency to look for signs that something is over rather than look for signs that something is still good, okay? Um, because the death card is here and that Scorpio energy. So this person is kind of like in that position in their life, you know? Like if it feels like if you don't make a move towards them, then they're automatically gonna assume that things are done and it's over and it's not gonna go anywhere. And they'll say that we have too many obstacles or we're too different, right? But like 
if you say that you are going to come towards them, then that all shifts and changes, okay? And then they get the hangman, Piscean energy. And then they're back in this, like, you know, <laughs> feeling enlightened and feeling happy. It's all based on what you do. This person doesn't really make moves. They will block more like they they may not come they would come in your direction but they may kind of say well i want to but i can't and they put up like some blocks here even though they know they need to compromise um they may take a little time to think about it but it's it's just it's a strange energy i pick up with this person you know it's like a with that moon, I just feel like there's a fear and an insecurity with this person that's like natural for them, okay? It almost feels like if you're a female listening that you have to be the one to initiate everything and take the lead. Like if you invited them, they would come, but they would, have, they would take their time to think about, you know, coming in your direction. And if you asked to come, they would be, open to that but then they would also say well I do have to work or something like that it's just this hesitancy it's just like this bit of fear like placing obstacles in front and kind of like blocking things out of fear they're, because they, they fear like they're going to be left out in the cold or that you're going to leave or something along those lines so they kind of like don't push it really with you now let's see the near future okay we have attraction and honeymoon okay then we've got libra the knight of wands and the high priestess so let's see what justice is here because justice is always about telling the truth the win-win solution and i feel like in going forward you guys will find a win-win solution they will seek out a way to make something happen here with you Okay, they will seek out, which is good, which is good. There's some type of opportunity that presents itself to your person that shows them that they can invest in this relationship and also some type of enlightenment that happens where they come to terms and they say, you know what, if I do the right thing, then, you know, if I find a, a good sol a solution that will work for both of us, to come together, then um, this will provide an opportunity for us to move forward. And then the Knight of Wands is here. So then things begin to pick up with this person and then they begin to take action. Okay, yep. Because they just had that Four of Swords energy. They're waiting for, your person is like, It's like, it almost feels like if you provide a solution to make something work, like they're not going to do it. The Four of Swords, like they, they, the opportunity comes from you and they're not going to be the ones to provide a solution to make something work because they're not, sh they're unsure about themselves, right? You have to be the one who's like on more confident and the one who kind of takes the lead. And so this person takes a more passive role. But as soon as the solution is provided and the opportunity presents itself that comes from you, then they take off like, yes. Now the high priestess is here. Why? Okay. <laughs> well, because Virgo, this person has been single <clears throat> and keeping to themselves and they're very withdrawn and that's not really how they want to be. They don't want to be left alone. Like there's other people out there, I'm sure, but there isn't you. And I feel like they are aware of this. And it's kind of like, you know, they're they're living their good solo pleasurable life, you know, here with the Nine of Pentacles, but they're also isolated, alone, you know, keeping to themselves, which is the high priestess, no one to really talk to. You know, I mean, they have people to talk to, but not the way they talk to you because there's some kind of connection here. Your person just seems like they have like these really deep fears or insecurities. So the attraction card is here. So I do feel like, yeah, they are going to come towards you. I mean, the honeymoon is here. I'm not seeing marriage or anything like that. 
Um, I feel like your person does think about it sometimes, but I'm not really seeing that happen here. But I do feel like there'll be an opportunity for you guys to spend time together. Well, it will feel feel like you're on a honeymoon, okay? And the, the attraction is crazy between the two of you. And just really have some time together, I feel, is going to happen to really fully enjoy each other every moment that you can. Um, but it just seems like to me, you have to be the one to, <clears throat> I guess, convince them. You have to be the one to enlighten them to why this can work out. Because your person just defaults back initially to, oh, I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. Or this, they're not really that interested in me. And... But if you show interest and you invite and you reach out or you just keep pushing that narrative, then they'll be like right right at your door coming towards you. Okay. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. <clears throat> so in the past, that's definitely what your person was doing. Sorry, I had to cough. I don't know that they were actually like in nature, but it was definitely they were spending their time mostly alone. Finding time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other, but it, it's play hard, but it's not se anything serious, okay? It wasn't anything serious for them, and it's, it could have been, but they just weren't in that position to allow that to happen. But they are... <laughs> Here and now, your true love is already part of your life. So they knew back then that when you were there with them, that they you were it. You were their true love. They knew it. They weren't dumb. They weren't. If you thought like they they didn't feel that way, or they never gave you any clues that like maybe they expressed their love to you, but never said, "Hey, you are my true love." Well, they felt that way. They did. So if that brings you some reassurance, you know, there you go. In the present, leap of faith, it's safe to make the move you're considering. So, yeah, this is them just trying to get their courage up. But again, as I was saying, I mean, they're kind of like they would go, but then they'd be hesitant or they'd stall or they'd find reasons not to go. And then you would want to come and then they'd still find those reasons. And then they're like, well, is it safe? Should I take a leap of faith? I don't know. And then they block and then they go back into that dark place. And they're like, I don't know if it's going to work out. And should I even try, you know, mastery, you've learned the spiritual lessons. This person's definitely going through some major shifts, um, spiritually in their life and religious factors are here. So with the hangman, they are gaining a sense of like trusting and having faith. Okay. They're learning. I don't know that they ever put their place in uh, or put their faith in any spiritual deity or Jesus or God or anything like that. Um, but there's something here that's telling them that relying on their own resources is really not panning out for them in some way. I don't know how to explain that. The timing just wasn't right. That's what they tell themselves. <coughs> Excuse me. So when they're not coming to see you, they're not really recognize. They see their fears. They feel their fears and they're not initiating. But what they're really just saying ver vocally, what they're vocalizing is, oh, no, the time's just not right. That's all. It's just not good timing. Okay. But that's not even the truth. It's more along the lines that they're scared. They're hesitant. Now the future. See, I feel you leaving me behind. And healing, old wounds, childhood issues, and decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. So I feel like your person, um, there is a fear that you're going to be gone for good. But I do feel like they kind of have this thing where, you know, if you do initiate one last try with them okay they probably are going to make a move towards you they, they would agree to do it um because the alternative is that if they keep denying you and keep making you wait and keep pushing you off you are going to be gone and you are gonna you know you'll, you probably always love them and you'll always care for them but you're not going to hang around for someone who's just You know, you'll give it your 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 you'll give it your one shot. I see here, Virgo. Like you'll 
you'll initiate something and you'll do something and if they are just still like too fear-based and they just can't get over themselves what are you going to do right but i see healing happening here and i do see that this person does make the decision to come towards you like i said and i do see going forward in the future you guys spending some time together that's really nice and the healing begins here you know um because you'll get to have that one-on-one -on -one and really talk about things so it looks good virgo all right i'm gonna leave your reading there i hope that that was helpful and again if you want a personal reading there's a link in the description box below please do hit like share and subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow take care